Welcome grade nines to another EMS video. Today we are looking at the participants in a circular flow of a closed economy. After this video, you should be able to identify the different participants in a circular flow of a closed economy. So let's get started. Let's look at the participants in a circular flow. First, we have the household. Households are one or more people that live together and make economic decisions. This means they decide what they spend their money on, where they want to work, um, or what they want to invest in. Then we have businesses. Can you think of the last business that you visited or a service that you used from a business? And then we have the government. And between households, businesses and the government, goods and services flow, factors of production flow and money flows. So factors of production flows through the factors market and goods and services flows through the goods market. So let's look at the flow between the first two participants, households and businesses. Households provide factors of production to the factors market. These factors of production are capital, land, labor, and entrepreneurship. Businesses need these to operate, so they go and purchase it from the factors market. To purchase it, they will spend money. The money that they spend becomes an income for the household. Businesses provide goods and services on the goods market. Households need these to satisfy their wants and needs. So they will spend money to purchase the goods and services provided by businesses. The money that they spend becomes an income for businesses. Some textbooks will also refer to this as revenue. But what about the third participant, the government? So the government provides public goods and services to households. What are these? Well, for example, they are medical care, education, infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, security, and then law and policies. These public goods and services are also available to businesses. To provide these, the government needs an income. That income is tax that it collects from households and businesses. So let's look at the flow between households and government. So households provide factors of production to the factors market that we know already. The government need these factors of production too, so they will spend money to purchase them. The money that they spend becomes an income. Households pay tax to the government and they receive public goods and services from the government. Let's look at the flow between the government and businesses. Businesses provide goods and services on the goods market and the government spend money to purchase these. The money they spend becomes an income for the businesses. The businesses pay tax to the government and the government provide businesses with public goods and services. When we add all the flows together, we get the circular flow of a closed economy. It is a closed economy because we don't trade with other countries. Okay, there's no imports and exports here. Let's do this activity. There will be questions that pop up and in order for the video to continue, you will first need to answer these questions. The activity requires from you to identify the flow of money, goods and services and factors of production between the participants. So the first flow that you need to identify is what flows between households and the government and the government and households. Yes, tax flows from households to the government and public goods and services flow from the government to households. What flows from households through the factors market to businesses and from businesses through the goods market to households? Perfect, factors of production flows from households through the factors market to businesses and goods and services flows from businesses through the goods market to households. So, what flows from households through the goods market to businesses and from businesses through the factors market to households? Yes, money flows that way. And we say that households spend money, which becomes an income for businesses. And businesses spend money, which becomes an income for households. So let's recap. 
Households provide factors of production to the factors market. The government and businesses will spend money in order to use these factors of production. The money they spend becomes an income for the households. Businesses provide goods and services to the goods market. Households and the government will spend money in order to use these goods and services. The money that they spend is an income for the businesses. The government provides public goods and services to both households and businesses and collects tax from them to be able to provide the public goods and services. We just explained in a very simple way economic activities between participants in a closed economy. Yeah.